Welcome to this tour of Bristol Aquarium, which is home to thousands of animals from all around the world. So let us not waste any time and just get straight into the tour. The first area of the aquarium exhibits species that can be found in UK waters. The large tank in this area replicates a sunken shipwreck and houses large species of fish, including bass, bream and pollock. This tank also has native shark species, including small spotted cat sharks and bull huss. Some of the other tanks house species that can be found in rock pools and shallow waters, such as anemones and starfish. The next area of the aquarium is known as the Bay of Rays. This display is open topped and home to several species of ray, including the common stingray, fawnback ray and painted ray. This large tank also houses some other native species of fish, including wrasse and thick-lipped grey mullet. One aspect of Bristol Aquarium that makes it stand out from others is that it is the only aquarium in the UK with a botanical house and it's great to look at all the exotic plant species while travelling between exhibits. While walking through the botanical house, you can also overlook the ray tank from above. Towards the end of the botanical house, you'll see a large tank teeming with colourful Malawi cichlids. The next area of the aquarium is known as the Bristol Harbourside area, and the first thing you'll notice is the large tank in the centre that you can look at from above, and this is the same sunken shipwreck tank from the first area of the aquarium. The other tanks in this area house more local species, including giant spiny starfish, boarfish and corkwing wrasse. There is also a small tank that houses beautiful spiny squat lobsters that you often find hanging upside down on rocks. This section also displays many different anemone species such as snake locks and beadlets. One of my personal favourite tanks out of the whole aquarium is this seahorse tank, which many aquariums don't have.
This area also has a nursery tank for baby seahorses. There is also a cabinet nearby that displays shark jaws and other items that you can find washed up on the shore. Finally, there is a small rock pool tank that houses a wide variety of species that are commonly found in rock pools. The edge of the rainforest area takes you on a journey through the mangrove swamps, home to many different freshwater species. Many aquariums around the UK don't have any freshwater exhibits, so an area like this is great to see. You'll notice that you can look down upon the large tropical display that is teeming with colourful species, but you'll see more of this display later. One of the most interesting tanks in this area is the piranha tank. This is a great opportunity to see these deadly fish up close. Another interesting species to see is the archerfish. This species actually shoots water out of their mouths to catch their prey above the surface. The aquarium also has a collection of amphibians in this area, including the colourful but deadly poison dart frogs. They also have an axolotl tank. Moving into the amazing Amazon exhibit, we move back into the botanical house, filled with some of the world's strangest plants and flowers growing in natural conditions. And here you'll get your first look at the large freshwater tank displayed in this area. The aquarium does a great job at displaying lots of information and facts about the animals throughout the many exhibits around the aquarium, like this display board about the Amazon. Holding over 60,000 litres of fresh water, the mighty Amazon open top display is home to giant paku, catfish, stingrays and other freshwater species. You'll also be able to spot a number of friendly yellow-bellied turtles and red-eared sliders among the other freshwater giants. The centrepiece of Bristol Aquarium has to be the enormous coral seas display. And no coral seas display is complete without a beautiful clownfish tank. This amazing area themed on a warm water coral reef provides a home for over 250 marine animals. Arguably the most popular display in the aquarium is the awe-inspiring underwater tunnel, which gives you a great chance to see some stunning sea creatures up close, 
as they swim right over your head. Over 250,000 litres of water is held in this massive tank, and it's where you can see cow nose rays patrolling the reef, alongside cleaner wrasse, eels, soldier fish, and numerous other colourful species. Some of my favourite sea creatures in this area are the garden eels. This particular tank is really great to see, mainly because of the giant hermit crab they have in it. There is also another great tank that houses some big lionfish. One of the highlights of this large coral reef tank is getting to see the giant grouper. Here you can see the grouper's mouth being cleaned by a cleaner wrasse. This tank also has a few sharks in it too. Thank you very much for joining me on this tour of Bristol Aquarium. Please leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next video.